In this video, we're going to take a look at the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. If you're interested, keep watching. So the people at BioLite did send me this headlamp for testing and review, and I've had it in my possession for quite some time. So what I thought I would do now is take it down to the tabletop. We'll go over its specifications, its modes of operations. We'll talk a little bit about its pros and cons. Then we'll get outside and do some testing. All right, let's start with some of the specifications as well as the features for the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. To begin, it comes in at 2.43 ounces or 69 grams in weight. It is designed so that the headlamp on the forehead with the battery on the back, that makes wearing this even more comfortable because it distributes the weight front to back. It features a very comfortable, moisture-wicking, breathable headband, which I have worn for extended periods of time without any discomfort. It features a 900 milliamp lithium-ion battery, which is recharged through a micro USB port. It does feature four small LEDs near the port that will indicate battery strength. It has a runtime on its highest setting of 333 lumens of three and a half hours. On its lowest setting, it will run for 40 hours. It is rated as an IPX4 waterproof which is to say that it will ris ris resist splashes from any direction. All right, let's go over some of the performance specifications for the BioLite 330. So to begin, it is a dual LED design with a spotlight LED and a floodlight LED. It is operated through a small on-off button at the very top, and behind that there's a small guard which also acts to allow for the tilting feature of the LEDs, and they have a very crisp detent with a number of positions. So to turn the flashlight on, it's simply a matter of pressing the button down. And right now, of course, I'm in the red floodlight mode. To change modes, you turn it on and immediately within one second, hit the button again to run through the mode. So it'll come back on in red, press it on again. And now I'm in the uh, spotlight mode. In the spotlight at the highest lumens, I have 230 with a 75 meter throw. And in that position, if I hold the on off button down, it will reduce in intensity to its lowest and then flash twice. Let's do that. Flashing twice to indicate it's in the lowest. If I hold the button down again, it'll come up to its highest illumination and flash twice again. Now to reach to the uh, 330 lumens you're going to combine the flood and the spot so let's go to that. So this is the floodlight and the floodlight comes in at 100 lumens and has a 16 meter throw. Now let's see if I can get it onto the highest setting. So now I'm on the highest setting and again that same uh, on off button if held down will reduce the intensity and increase the intensity. The flashlight does have a memory, so once I turn it on, if I or turn it off, if I turn it back on again, it comes back on at the same setting with the same intensity. So let's talk about recharging the BioLite 330 headlamp. It does come with a very nice micro USB charging cable, which again is enters the charging port, which is covered over with a rubber dust cover. I also want to point out the battery level indicators. If I turn the flashlight, the headlight on, let's see if I do it without blinding you. You should be able to see that there are three lights lit on the bottom of the, or the back of the headlight battery, which uh, is right next to the dust cover. And three lights indicates that I have 75% of my battery strength left. Going over the pros and cons as I see them for the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. To begin, as I mentioned a minute ago, it is equipped with a very comfortable headband itself. And the design with the LEDs on my forehead and the battery pack on the back of my head means that I can wear this on my forehead for extended periods of time very comfortably and it doesn't slide as I move around. However, those same two features do have some negatives. To start with that headband itself, right now I have it at full extension. If my head was any larger, I might find this too tight. That same battery pack, while sitting at the back of my head and comfortable while I stand or sit, can be a bit uncomfortable while I'm laying down with my head against something. Functionally, the on, off, and mode button is quite easy to locate on the front of the headlamp, but its small size and the fact that it is set up right next to the tilting lever uh, means that it can be a little hard to operate, especially with gloves on. All right, as I mentioned, I'll give you a few close-ups of the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. So to begin, there is the 
close-up of the on off and mode button the little gray button in the center and right behind it you can see a little ridge or lever that's used for tilting the lamp forward and backwards as well as protecting from accidentally turning on the on off button as well at the back of the headlamp is the battery with the micro USB charge port and the, th the light for the battery strength indicator showing now that I have a full charge battery. All right, let's get outside and do some nighttime testing with the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. So testing with the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. This is the spotlight by itself at its highest intensity. Quite a bit of penetration to the woods and you know, not bad flood on either side of it as well. This does have that infinite, infinitely variable intensity, so let's bring it down to its lowest. And if I was reading a book or something, this would be just fine, but it's not very good for navigating through the woods, but that's okay. Take it back up to its highest again. Great. Now let's put it on flood. So this is the floodlight, and as you can see, there's a wide beam but it doesn't penetrate very far. That's on its highest and again down to its lowest. So great for map reading or reading a book in my tent, but uh, not so much for ne negotiating around in the woods. Bring it back up to its highest. Now we'll put it on the combination of flood and spot, which will bring it up to 330 lumens. Outstanding. I can see a good long ways into the wood and I can see all around me to my sides as well. Can't ask for anything more than that. So a couple of final thoughts on the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp. Do you know there was one thing I didn't mention a minute ago before we took the, flat, or the headlamp to the woods for testing and that is an alternative way of wearing or using the headlamp. So I did mention that I find it uncomfortable to wear it with the light on my head and the battery on my back of my head because when I'm leaning back against something I find that that's a bit uncomfortable. Having said that what I've learned to do is turn it upside down and hang it around my neck. When I'm using it in this fashion, I can use the LED or move the LED and direct it any way I want. And what I find is that it still works perfectly for reading or doing chores such as maybe starting a fire in the dark. And the other thing I like about using it that way is then during the winter when I've got a toque or a beanie on or another type of hat where I would not be able to wear this on my forehead, at least very comfortably, then it will still function very well hanging around my neck. All right, the other thing I want to mention about the BioLite headlamps is that there are two more models, one on either side of this in terms of intensity. There is a 200 lumen model that doesn't have the battery at the back, but just in the front with the LEDs, and a 750, I believe, lumen model now that they've just released recently as well. Okay, if you have any comments on or questions regarding the BioLite 330 rechargeable headlamp, then please put them in the comments section below. And of course, I'm going to put where you can purchase this as well as all the specifications in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.